hello my beautiful people you welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by in my channel and if you are new to this channel you most welcome please don't forget to like and also subscribe in this video i'm going to show you how to prepare ubeg ibokbot ubeg ibokbot is prepared with fresh corn it is a special food that is eaten by the eastern parts of nigeria especially the Akwaibom and the Cross River states respectively. If you want to know how I prepare this delicious Ubeg Ibokbot, please keep on watching this video to the end as I'm going to show you all the steps and the necessary things that you need to prepare this delicious and tasty Ubeg Ibokbot. The first ingredient you need for this Ubeg Ibokbot is fresh corn. This is the principal ingredient for this ubeg ibokbot. I have here plenty of fresh corn. Once you've gotten your fresh corn, you have to peel your corn gently. Once you're done peeling your corn, this is how it looks like. Very fresh and white. The next thing you need to do is to put it in a pot and boil it. I'm going to boil it so as to enable me to remove it from the ibotok. Yes, we call it ibotok ibotok. That is, after boiling it, I will use knife and remove it from the stem. This is the boiled corn. After boiling it, you need to keep it and allow it to cool down completely so that you'll be able to handle it and then remove it from the stem the next thing i'm going to do is to use a knife a tray and a chopboard and then remove it gently from the stem this is what i'm talking about you can see it's very easy with your knife you can as well use hand to remove this but it will take longer time but with the help of your knife you can see that it is very very easy and fast once you're done removing it from the stem you're going to transfer it into your cooking pot and then move down to the stove and start cooking with your corn on the fire you're going to add water and so i'm adding three cups of water you need to cover it and allow it to cook for 20 to 25 minutes after that i'm adding pepper you need to add your crayfish you have to be generous in the crayfish because it needs plenty of crayfish and fish and so i'm adding my meat that is my ikbai nang I'm also adding my dry fish, my dry prawns, and also some seasoning cubes, salt to taste. Then you need to stay it and allow it to mix properly. After that, you're going to cover it and allow it to cook for 10 minutes before adding your palm oil. Once the palm oil has dissolved, you have to stay it and then taste for salt. Once it is okay, you are going to add your vegetable. Remember, you have to add your vegetable last so as to be able to remain fresh because of the vitamins that you need. You have to stay it and stay it gently and properly. You are going to cover it. In the next one minute, this food is going to be ready. And then I will put it down and serve. Hey! My delicious 
bang it open, it's ready. So I'm going to save. I hope you have seen how I prepare these delicious and tasty Ubeg Ibokbot. If you have the time, please don't fail to prepare this food at home for your family. My family loves it so much. This Ubeg Ibokbot is a special food that can be eaten anytime. It is mouth watery and so you need it because of the proteins that our body needs. If you love this video, please thumbs up, like and also share. Please don't forget to turn on the notification bell. In so doing, you will not miss any of my uploads. Thanks for watching this video and see you in my next video. Bye!